Hi, my name is Justin Dranchak and I'm the North American Manager for Molecular Devices Biopharma Platforms. During this video, we will review molecular devices solutions for stable cell line development. Cell line development is the process of establishing a clonally derived cell population which has been genetically engineered to express a desirable phenotype, such as producing large amounts of recombinant protein for a stable period of time. The process of cell line development begins with the introduction of foreign DNA, traditionally your recombinant protein of interest, into a host cell, a process known as transfection. Upon transfection, cells begin expressing protein for a period of time before completely halting production. However, a small subpopulation maintain their ability to express recombinant protein for long periods of time due to integration of the foreign DNA into their genome. They are referred to as stably transfected cells and are selected to move forward into the next step of the process. The next phase in the process usually involves enriching your cells. Foreign DNA encoding the protein of interest often includes an additional selectable marker that can be used to separate stably transfected cells from non-transfected cells. There is a strong correlation between the expression levels of the recombinant protein and the GFP marker included in the foreign DNA, allowing researchers to use GFP fluorescence intensity to identify and enrich their cell pools for high protein expression. The process of confirming and screening for high protein expression within your pools of cells can be performed on Molecular Devices ClonePix2 colony screening platform. The process of stable transfection, whether targeted or random, will generate a cell population with heterogeneous protein expression. Therefore, single cells must be isolated and cloned in order to ensure that the cell population is genetically identical, significantly reducing the heterogeneity of expression. Single cell isolation is the process of separating individual cells from a block of tissue or cell suspension for further analysis. The single cell cloning is extremely critical in the stage of cell line development process. It is important to verify that single cells are properly isolated from one another within a microplate and it is often documented using a cell imager. Cells are typically monitored for growth following the cloning stage to ensure that their growth properties have not changed dramatically. This includes the process of tracking the progress of a single cell as it grows into a colony of cells. Molecular Devices provides an end-to-end -end label free workflow for monoclonality assurance using the single cell printer and clone select imager in combination. Your cell suspension is loaded into a disposable microfluidics cartridge on the single cell printer where cells are individually screened and isolated into 96 or 3D4 well plates based on size, shape, or fluorescence. The software then provides image-based documentation of each single cell event. Once finished cells are allowed to settle to the bottom of the, the plates, they are imaged on the clone select imagers where they are measured and tracked from a single cell as they grow into a colony. Once they have completed growth, users can confirm monoclonality using a reporting feature for the regulatory submission. During the final step in the process, cells are analyzed for tighter and critical quality attributes. This is a test that detects the amount of recombinant protein or antibodies produced from the clonally derived cell line and can be performed on molecular devices best in class Spectrumax I series multimode plate readers. If you would like more information about how any molecular devices platforms can be added to your workflow, or if you would like to speak with a local representative, please visit www.moleculardevices.com. Thank you.